turtle Terran is Imba. This guy opened up with his CC first, so I tried to harass him with my adept, only to realize he was going planetary fortress on second base. Seeing that, I played greedily, taking my third and fourth base quite early. I kept expanding, I even started sending out some zealot run buys, but he has too much splash damage. I got some tempest to break his defense, but the widow mines with fast burrow were too fast to react to, and it didn't work. I kept expanding and expanding, even trying to deny him from expanding. But Terran is Imba. He has so much mules to keep his economy going, and whenever I try to break his defense directly, I fail. Tanks shoot down my stalkers, widow mines kill my zealots, and the planetary at his second base prevents me from even doing good damage to him. In the late game, he somehow got so many vikings to drop on my base and destroy a lot of stuff. I was focused on spamming zealots to run by, so I was caught off guard. I've just had enough. My workers are mostly dead. My sanity is almost dead and he got so deep in my head that I unleashed my inner Terran and didn't say GG. How could Terran turtle like this and somehow still be a hat? So Captain, is it Imba or do I suck? That question gets asked by Homura, who plays on the Korean server, is in the Platinum League at 3200 MMR and plays Protoss with a very simple question. Is it Imba or does he suck? And we're here to figure that out. All right, my friends, here we go in the game between Homura, our Protoss player, our Platinum hero. And in the top right, we have uh, well, whatever this means. Uh, Korean characters here out of our red Terran player and uh, a mech game, or at least that's what it seemed like here from the Imbalance Complaint Forum. And I get loads of these. I get loads of Imbalance Complaint Forums about mech. Tanks, mines, planetary fortresses, pores, Vikings I hadn't heard before. I don't, I think this is the first time that, I think in, in, in like, well, like 160, 170 episodes that we have someone complain about the Viking. Um, but I guess it's also part of the mech army in a way. The thing with mech often is, is that it has to do with money, okay? As a Protoss player, you don't need to take one good fight against mech. You can take six fights that are decent, and just because you have more money, because the mech player can't kill you, because they can't move out across the map majority of the time, they need their defensive setup, you're going to be fine as Protoss. You have quick tech switches as well, all of that good jazz. Now, um... This is interesting because Homura did mention that there was a CC first, and that's indeed what's going down. So that's a, a, a reasonable read here at the start. But what is our... Okay, this, this Terran... I'm not quite sure what this Terran is doing because there's no barrack yet. So we, we see a CC, or we'll see a, a, a worker down here, which, yeah, indeed is going to throw down a CC. Now, I'm going to do something that might be a little bit mean, or that might sound a little bit mean, but Homura is an idiot for not realizing that something is off. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Homura should know the exact timing of the barracks. Oh, if it's CC first, the barracks should come down at, you know, 1.30 or 1.20 or whatever. I, I don't know what timing the barracks should start either. But, but, ladies and gentlemen, this CC... Is 69 nice seconds into building. You know that it doesn't take more than a minute to mine 150 minerals on one base. Where in the world is the barracks? That is the question that Homura should be asking. Where's the barracks? He's either being proxied or there is a proxy base or that's it. These are the only two options right now. And yes, it is possible that he doesn't know how much someone mines a minute. It, it's okay to not know that you mine uh, like between 850 and maybe a thousand minerals a, a minute if you're properly saturated in a main base. That's okay. But you should still, you should still know that something is wrong right now. This CC is done. There's no barracks yet. That is, that's completely off. This is, you know, there are people, everyone knows these people. They have them in there, you know, in, in, around you. It's like maybe it's your mom or your dad or your little brother. Or if you have friends, it's one of your friends. These are people that are, they have no clue about the passing of time. You know, they, they're not, they're not very good with it. So they'll tell you, I'll see you in 10 minutes and they'll be gone for 20 minutes. You know, double the time. It's like, oh, I lost track of time. It's like, oh, well, twice as much is not that bad. Now, this isn't like that, okay? This is freaking 150 minerals that are missing. This is more like if 
y you know, if, if, if your dad says he's going to the corner store to get some cigarettes and he doesn't show up for another five years and all you get is like a Christmas card from him. That is more like this. It's a, this is a significant portion of the resources that you know your opponent has are missing and Homura isn't responding to that. And I think that is very painful in this situation. And we're at a league in Platinum on the Korean server where I think it is very fair to expect people to understand this concept, to understand the concept of money in, money out. I, I think this is one of the most basic concepts in StarCraft 2 and Homura is seemingly not understanding it. And that disappoints me a little bit. I do like his build, well, I like his build order. I don't like the amount of money he's floating. He's floating like six, 700, getting a Robo Bay, double gases. This is, this is not a good build order at the highest level, but this is a perfectly fine build order to, to, to get you to Masters League or to, to even get you to low grand Masters. Like it's a simple build. It, it gives you a lot of vision because you can easily get observers out. Um, you're relatively safe on your two bases initially. It's easy to deal with drops because you can build a lot of units out of your three gateways. It feels good to play this build order, is what I'm trying to say. It feels darn good to play this build order. If if you want to learn a standard build order in Brothers vs. Terran, this is completely fine to learn, but execution isn't brilliant, and the scouting also hasn't been brilliant so far, because right now we're completely unaware of what is going on here on the other side of the map. We're 4 minutes and 45 seconds in, and right now there's two Marines out for the Terran player. Now, I could make fun of the Terran's terrible build order, because this build order is really quite bad. But we could also make fun of Homura of not being capable of capitalizing on, on, on this. Uh, just for a point of reference here, if Homura were to play a proper 3-8 blink build, like the one that I would play, he would be hitting five seconds ago with 12 blink stalkers, a prism and an observer. And there would be three marines to defend that. And before anyone even thinks about starting to argue that these stalkers might not be able to break the planetary when it gets repaired, we ran a quick simulation on what would happen. You just come up, blink up the ramp, sit on top of the production, deny any factory units and have a damn good time against three marines that might still try to tickle you. But the planetary is no help at all here. That would be a very difficult defense. Like, an extremely difficult defense. Some might even want to use the word impossible. Now, I've seen Mission Impossible, and sometimes what seems impossible at the start of the movie isn't so impossible at the end um, for all four episodes of Mission Impossible, or however. How many Mission Impossibles is there, actually? I think there's at least three now. It's like one of these series where I feel like every few years there's a new one, and I don't really pay It's a bit like Fast and the Furious. Like Fast and Furious 12 has recently been released as well. I don't know anyone either who who watches Fast and the Furious or or, or Mission Impossible. It's just one of these franchises that keeps going. Like, I feel like it's the same with Guardians of the Galaxy, where we have like Guardians of the Galaxy 12 coming out soon. It's like the first one wasn't even that good. I'm not sure why we're making like the seventh sequel. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's like a lack of creativity says the man who's made 170 episodes of Is It Inbar or Do I Suck? But that's a story for another time. It's fine to criticize other people as long as uh, you love yourself. Harstam 2023. Nice. Um, let's not forget that Homura so far hasn't scouted the proxy base yet. I looked at the planetary, the barracks in the wall. Uh, I was like, you know what? Uh, probably no third base anywhere else. Bunch of turrets as well. This is an insane setup, by the way. Actually got two worker kills and goes back home. <laughs> I love the casualness at which this happened. He flew in, dropped it, killed two workers and pissed back off home. These are like the guys that go fishing. They throw out their, their fishing rod, they catch one fish and they're like, all right, that was it for today. They go back home, have a beer and that's life. You know. Happy with with what they have. They don't need more. You know, there's the people that always need more and more and more in their life. You know, they get a, a a nice car. Their neighbor gets a bigger car. They also want the bigger car. This disruptor is completely content with life. He got two kills. He's gonna chill on the prism. He he's retired now. 
we're never gonna see him again i hope he goes to the top left of the map uh, unbinds this hotkey and tapes off the bottom left side of the mini map as well that way is never gonna get used again i think this is a good call another thing that would be quite a decent call here is if uh we get some scouting of the side bases right now we're really hitting the territory where no third base at the eight minute mark is dangerous the moment you're taking a fourth base against someone that's on two bases you might want to check if there's a proxy base no <laughs> i love that this orbital starts eight minutes in this this ec has been done for like five minutes it could have had thrown throw down five mules already which is like a thousand minerals but instead he just builds it now they say this is the beauty of, of, of lower level optimization. It's just because it isn't there. Oh, we actually have some scouting. There's actually okay vision, except in front of the opponent's base. Look at this. I just want to take a look at this vision. Look at this. So you have vision of your own fifth base, vision on your opponent's third and your opponent's fourth. You know there is nothing on your opponent's third and fourth. And rather than scouting when the move out is going to come or with what the move out is going to come, because I'm assuming right now that Homura thinks that this is a two base all in because that is the only thing that makes sense nothing legitimately nothing has happened in this game two scvs has gone have gone down and i guess maybe four scvs have gone down i don't even know what else have gone down yeah four scvs have gone down that's it nothing else has happened homura must think this is a two base all in because literally nothing is happening but he's not scouting look the one area that's important is down the ramp or in front of his opponent's natural there's no observer nothing now there's two observers but both of them are camping this general area above the cybernetic score okay this base at least got spotted but at this point i already kind of think it's too late this was world's greediest build order like this was legitimately double cc into barracks and it didn't get punished so what, what, what did he ask again in the form let me have a quick look how could terran turtle like this and somehow still be a hat well how could terran turtle like this and somehow still be a hat it's very simple they got away with sneaking out a base build a crap ton of scvs there while you were getting four gases before you got your third base you took your third base relatively late you took your fourth base honestly relatively late as well i know probably for platinum league this is quite fast but your opponent just m probably mined more than you and thus has a bigger army like it like, I don't quite know what to tell you here. Like, this is... This is... This is... I'm so confused by your complaint here that I can't even form a sentence anymore. Okay, imagine you have two guys that work at a supermarket. They're the same age and make the exact same wage, okay? We'll call them John and Paul. John worked 10 hours last week. Paul worked 150 hours last week. Then John gets upset because Paul gets paid more, despite knowing that he worked 15 times as long. Your opponent had more mining and thus more money. Both of you are floating approximately the same amount of money. Like, I, I don't know what you want here. Jesus Christ. Did your opponent gain supply during this fight? What was this? You know, you've heard these stories of the... Of like lemmings that run off a cliff. You know, it's, a, it's like, a, like a suicide pact between these animals. Um, I feel like these stalkers did something similar here. It's like they were done with living. Like what in the world is this fight? Holy God. Your opponent had what, like one, 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 190 supply? Your opponent lost like 10, 12 supply. You lost 70. And your mining is actually quite okay-ish, but it's not brilliant. I mean, you're still practically getting out mined. Also, the story about the lemmings, by the way, I think is fake. Um, I believe it was a myth or something. And then some film crew went to go film the lemmings mass committing suicide running off a cliff um but then it didn't happen so i think they forced them off a cliff and then they recorded that they killed like thousands and thousands of i think they're called lemmings it's absolutely messed up i think it was like in the 60s or something pretty sure it was in black and white as well so the boomers who did it or the generation before the boomers maybe but it was the boomers though don't like that as proper mean 
it's like it was mean to these stalkers as well. I didn't even see a film crew behind it. Um, aren't you filming it, like, right this second? But maybe... Yeah, maybe I just missed that. Maybe there was a film crew, but I didn't see it. Pushing the stalkers into the mines. Yeah, we'll have to watch that in the in a slow re review, in the replay. In the highlight reel of that fight. Jeez, that was a terrible fight. Yeah, the resource loss doesn't look so great. Actually, it looks pretty garbage. Okay, and here come the Zealot run by. It's an interesting one as well. Knowing your opponent is like, oh, is it a 30? <laughs> <laughs> it's a ridiculous army as well. 32 mines. I love the complete lack of observers with the army. Okay, now we're going. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Hey! Does he have drilling claws already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> None of these mines are dying, are they? He's lost three mines. Just killing crap. This is so sick. I've seen this type of game before as well, where people just keep, keep running into the same... No way. Just keep running into the same mines again and again. This zealot was gonna kill these three tanks. That would have been legendary. I love how he sends them in on, on the recharge of the mines as well. You know, rather than sending so many that you can overpower the mines, he sends them in waves of 10. So that the mines are always ready for this. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, good control. Almost correct. Come on, move back. No need to stay in mine range. Yes! Why? What is this move? They're literally... You see this, you're looking at it. No? This, this is vision, I think. He, this is like building a house in a hurricane. Oh no, not a hurricane. Quick, let me start a new house. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Halfway done, boom. Hurricane hits. Fantastic plan. Call him the king of home development. This is actually insane. I've never seen some, uh, somebody make this many bad calls when it comes to fighting. The impressive part is that I feel like he's expanding quite fast, but doesn't have a lot of workers. It's like he's just building bases, like it's going to give him, like, passive income. <laughs> he's a, legit the type of guy that watches, like, a, like a TikTok or a YouTube short about uh, real estate investment. And he, <laughs> he's a, here's a, he, he learns about passive income. What he does, he builds, like, three houses in his backyard and just sits there, waits for them to start making money. <laughs> Not realizing he's going to need tenants at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Money over here. <laughs> six workers. Hey, nine over here. Loving life. 12 out of 16. Looking good, buddy. <laughs> Complete idiot. <laughs> I don't think you can tease building zealous as well. This is so good. Up, oh, eight more gateways. And then he's like, oh, what? Man, what has been performing well so far this game for me? It's just like scratching his head, doing like the calculations on one of these old school calculators. You know, with just one line of numbers. Like, pressing his like, a zealous look good to me. Like, let me send in 12 more. Ah, die again. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sick. It actually meant the fact that these resources lost are so close honestly makes me want to reverse stamp it, you know? Yeah, Protoss is the broken one. How is this guy the same level? This is actual pain. He even has disruptors. People ask me. It's like, hi, Kev. I'm, I'm Platinum and I don't understand how to beat mines. So I'm like, hey, disruptors are a great tool, you know, because you can just click on the ground and the, the mines die. I'm like, ah, oh, thanks, Kevin. And then they send me an email two layers back. It's like, ah, oh, I'm still losing to, to mines. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm sorry. Keep practicing. And now I'm seeing one of these games, like, happening right in front of me. This guy built disruptors, which isn't using them. Allow the mines to recharge once more. It's like, all right, time to go. Has an observer, has disruptors. Okay, here we go. Setting it up, setting it up. There, yeah. Okay, see? There's not a lot of speed here, but this is obviously the correct thing to do. 
literally everything in this army outranges the mines. There's legitimately not a single unit in this army that has to walk into the mines to do anything. It's insane. No? This is the perfect army. Oh no, the flank. If he's gonna snipe this observer, I'm gonna be so upset. Come on, please, 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 please. No, no, just run, buddy, or shoot the disruptors. That's actually a huge shot. <laughs> How is this possible? Does he just not see it running towards him? Maybe he's playing blindfolded. Like uh, recording a YouTube challenge as well. Holy crap, dude. This really is something else. Now we get the Viking transition. Because the mines are losing their value. Well, they're not losing their value, but... I guess our Terran players have had enough of the mines. Still on 70 workers, by the way. No extra houses have been built in the backyard. Like, ah, it doesn't work at all. I'm not getting any passive income. What is going on over here? These gases don't provide any extra money. How weird. It just has four gases that aren't mining. 18 gateways, two robos, two stargates. This is the game of a lifetime. This is, I'm getting freaking, I'm getting chills, but I'm not sure it's because it's so good or so bad. Well, it's definitely not so good, but it is something. I'm not quite sure what I'm watching. And, and some people have that when they listen to a really good song for the first time, you know? Like they just get like, uh, they get like the shivers. It's like, oh. Or it's like a touching moment in a movie, you know? And a tear forms in their eye. Good lord. It's like he clumps them up as well to, to get hit by as much as possible. Okay, here comes the, the Vikings. Well, holy crap. 31 Vikings out. The Protoss is practically dead at this point. Uh, has lost, I'm not even quite sure how, but about 9k. Well, I know how in, in Widow Mines. 9k more. Here come the Vikings. Do we have the smart servos? No, there's, <laughs> there's no smart servos yet. So there's an upgrade that allows the Vikings to land and uh, go flying quicker. That's called smart servos. But he hasn't researched it. This, this Terran player. That is the one, surely, if you're building 32 Vikings, that is an upgrade that you do want to get. I love that he went for ship weapons, one vehicle weapons, and then ship weapons. This was the end game, always. I can't believe that I'm watching a game be won with landed Vi I don't think I... I've been playing this game for legitimately 13 years, right? Game came out in beta in like 2023, almost for 13 years. 12 and a half, 12, 12 and three quarters, something like that. I don't think in my entire life I saw a game ending with landed Vikings as the main composition. Sometimes, you know, the Vikings, they, they win a battle against the Colossi and they land and deal some damage. But as the main comp, I legitimately don't think I've ever seen this. You know how people sometimes say, um, in order to, you know, something that's very unlikely, I'll say, in, in a unit, there is a universe in which and then something unlike that. So there is a universe in which I married Tom Cruise, or there is a universe in which uh, Belgium is a country that people want to live in voluntarily. That type of stuff. I always thought of that with, there is a universe in which mass landed Viking is a composition that wins games. I always thought it would not be my actual universe, but here we are, 10 Vikings being produced at a time, Eight, this is this is this is legit five starports with reactors this is a thing of beauty this is how starcraft is supposed to be played this has to be so demoralizing to lose to i can't imagine this if someone was killing me with pure viking i i'm not quite sure if i would continue playing this has to be hard on the mental state no i I'm almost starting to pity homura he's just walking around with his dog i don't know what to do i have so many bases my passive income isn't showing up. Uh, my gas, my gas count is low. It's like, it's, life is awful for him. This is garbage. He sends in the replay for some friendly advice. It's completely blasted by this cocky content creator. He's just the uh, oh, he's taking, he's having a terrible, terrible week. This guy. I feel like I'm uh, kicking, kicking him while he, kicking a man while he's down. 
still no smart servos, by the way. This, uh, I've never seen this in my life. Like, I legit, just never seen this in my life. Someone play like this. This is insane. Hey, is he gonna land again? Yeah, he's gonna land again. 3-3 three, three upgrade? How is it? Wait, wait. He has 2-1? Mr. Mr. Money, the king of the expanding. He's on 2-1 upgrades. All right, all right, all right. Uh, as I would like to say. Well, th this makes absolutely no sense. This is so insane to me. I love the harass though. 10 Hellions at a time. 10 Vikings at a time. He's balling. This game is fairly over though. Terran did all of this on five base. Well, five and a half. He practically mined out half of this base before it got discovered by the Protoss forces. I, I understand why you'd be upset after playing this game. Because you look at this and none of the things that happened in this game ever happen on the high level. And it felt strong. I'm sure of it. I'm sure that Homura thought of this game, looked at this game and thought to himself, these mines, they're easier to micro for the Terran because they're just in the ground. Right? It's a... I think that's a, a fair thing to say. The Terran has to do very little with those. And then the tanks, they just sit there, don't do anything. The planetary is just there as well. But this isn't quite how StarCraft works. Because... It... it just because something is good at a lower level doesn't mean it's actually in balance. This is a little bit... Um, I imagine you're a, a very bad street fighter. And so is your opponent. Also a very bad street fighter. And your opponent... I, I think a street fighter is allowed to do whatever. And your opponent sits like this and he has knives coming out of his arms. And he just sits like this protecting his head. That's all he does. He doesn't move. He doesn't fight back. He doesn't strike. He just sits there with his knives around his head. And your strategy is to hit with your wrists on his knives and headbutt the knives with your head as well. And then complaining that your opponent doesn't have to do anything because the knives are so powerful by themselves and you can't do anything. No, no. It has nothing to do with the knives being too strong. You're an idiot. You could have just got the knives yourself and sat like this or you could have just not hit him in the arms on the knives and maybe you know kick him in the cojones or you know do something i don't know how street fights i've never been in a street i've never been in a fight in general i hope i never get into a fight i would have no clue what to do i'd be completely clueless i'd have to send it into a street fight content creator uh, was this street fighter imbalanced or do i suck and the guy would say well obviously you're a terrible street fighter. He just kept hitting the knives again and again and again. And honestly, if I were the guy sending in the video street fighting, then I'd accept that. Just like Homura, I think you have to accept it as well. All of your fights, all of them, were garbage. You kept walking into mines like an idiot. You had somewhat correct counters, honestly. You just didn't use them. You also kept expanding without putting probes on the bases. If you're playing against mech, you can easily go up to 85, 90 workers, no problem. Get cannons on the outside bases to protect them against Hellion run bys, and you should be fine. If you really struggle with this type of comp, you can even go into mass carrier plus disruptors. Easiest composition to control. And, I mean, disruptors kill the mines, carriers kill everything else. I, like, There's so many solutions to your problem. And it felt like you were close to the solutions, but then whenever you had a fight, you just bungled it in a in a, in like in like a in a big way as well. It wasn't just like, oh, that was a, an okay fight, but I barely lost it. It's like you got into a fight down twenty supply, and you walked out of a fight down ninety supply. It's like, well, that's impressive, you know. It's like I don't even quite know how to do it. I've never seen someone lose to landed Vikings either. Yeah, I'm I'm just not sure what to do with you. Like, I feel bad that this happened, but at the same time, you definitely sucked. And that's just the way the world. You you sucked. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sorry. I feel... I pity you. I think that's even worse. Landed Vikings. I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode. Uh, I hope you, you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please send in your own uh, replay in the new updated description... And the updated form as well, as uh, we require some replays on the new patch, on the new maps. 
And hopefully I'll see all of you there next week for a new IOTAS and tomorrow, of course, for a new video. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye.